Hello, I'm Professor Philip Baker, one of the authors on this review. This new review identifies which e-health interventions help people quit smoking. It identifies factors that can modify the effect. Smoking is a significant modifiable cause of death and illness. Despite the dangers of smoking, many people still smoke. However, many of them desire to quit. Electronic health approaches for sensation, known as e-health, are increasing in their popularity as they are seen to have many advantages as they are viewed as accessible, affordable, flexible, and can reach large populations. E-health interventions come in many forms such as mobile health using of text messages tracking group support and distraction. We included randomized controlled trials focused on current smokers in the general population. Databases were systematically searched and studies assessed for quality. The quality of the studies varied from low to high and the lower quality studies tended to report a larger effect. And so the findings from these lower quality studies must be interpreted cautiously. The internet is commonly used for sensation. Web-based interventions are, are those with a unique web page. Shown here when compared to non-active control, web-based interventions may increase sensation up to six months. When comparing tailored web-based approaches to an untailored control group, there's probably little or no increase upon sensation. When web-based interventions are used as an add-on to nicotine replacement therapy, adding the web-based approach increases sensation slightly and is thus beneficial. Mobile-based interventions, also known as mHealth, include the use of apps or text messages, SMS, and other communication via wireless and mobile phones. We found nine studies which compared these to a non-active control. As shown here, these interventions provide an important increase in sensation. Although the evidence is of low quality, we concluded the interventions may increase sensation. Four studies compared mHealth versus other eHealth strategies found mHealth provide a moderate increase. As shown here, mHealth interventions may increase sensation slightly more than other strategies. In other analysis, we found increasing the intensity of messaging from weekly to daily doesn't necessarily increase sensation. Tailored SMS interventions appears to provide an important advantage over untailored SMS interventions, nearly doubling the chances of quitting. The effect of computer-generated programs is unclear. In conclusion, there is consistent evidence that web-based and mHealth interventions help people quit smoking. The long-term effects of some of these programs is less certain. High intensity of messaging isn't necessary. Although further research is needed, this review in the context of widespread availability of the technology and the seriousness of the problem provides actionable findings to help people quit smoking.